Back in 2022, when the war in Ukraine began, two Americans, Alex Drucki and Andy Wynn, were so inspired by the Ukrainian people and what was happening that they wanted to travel overseas and do what they could, take up arms and join in the fight. Unfortunately, we now know the pair was captured by Russian forces and tortured and held for months. However, they got a second chance at life, were then freed and spent 104 days in captivity. Joining me now is retired U.S. Sergeant Alex Drukey and his mom, Bunny. Uh, to you both, um, happy 4th of July week. Um, we have a lot to celebrate this week. Um, you two more than most after what you've been through. Nice to see you. Good to see you again, Good to see you. Alex, let me start with you. I want to remind people what you have been through. I understand you recently underwent surgery for your jaw. Uh, the emotional healing has been difficult over the last year. What happened to you in captivity that you are still recovering from? Um, luckily, most of the physical things have, have begun resolving themselves. Uh, as you mentioned, I, I just went underwent a, a pretty extensive jaw surgery because we uh, we suspect that when they electrocuted me several times with a car battery, uh, that caused the hairline fractures that eventually just uh, completely shattered after, after I got home. So I've got a bone graft and a, and a new titanium plant uh, a plate in my jaw. Um, but like I said, other than that, all, all the other health things are coming back pretty pretty normal, pretty good. I'm still working on some of the mental things, but uh, I'm, I'm very, very focused on um, on advocating for Ukraine these days. I do feel like my, as I like to say, my brain has started working again. And so uh, I'm doing absolutely everything I can to, to support Ukraine. Yeah, you're looking great. So what are some of the things that you're doing? How can people take part in, in ways to support the ongoing fight? I mean, we're now more than a year into this with no signs of it ending. We are uh, almost at 500 days since the invasion. Um, so, so well over a year. Um, you know, I'm doing everything from speaking to high school classes, to civic groups, to Congress people, um, any, anything that I can do to um, let people know what's going on in Ukraine. I've got a lot of friends still on the ground there. Uh, we have a lot of Ukrainian friends in the country uh, here that, that, you know, have, have family back home still. Um, so, you know, I'm doing everything I can to get the word out about what's going on and what we can do to end this war. Uh, I think for your, your average American, the best thing that you can do is contact your representatives and insist that Ukraine gets what it needs to win this war. Uh, I really feel like uh, up to this point, we've been giving them enough equipment and enough supplies to not lose, but not to win. And, and I promise you, I've, I've said this in several interviews, the Ukrainians are determined and they are fierce fighters. And if we give them what they need to win this war, they are going to win this war. We just have to make sure we give them what they need. Yeah, point taken. Uh, their resilience has been remarkable. Bunny, last year, uh, Alex had his 40th birthday while being held uh, by the Russian forces. He celebrated his 41st first birthday recently here back with all of you. What has the last year been like uh, for you as a mom to have your son home given what he has gone through? There are times when it's hard for me to realize that he's home. I can't tell you how many times I've, I've found him either out on the back patio or in his bedroom and, and I've just gone and hugged him or put hands on him because it's hard to believe that he's really here. And then there are times when it feels like it happened so long ago. Um, it, it's just, it's not something I take for granted though. Every, every day with him is just such, um, such a great blessing. Yeah. And there's so much that we all have to celebrate on this 4th of July. And Alex, given what you're saying about Ukraine and what their future holds, um, how do you two plan to spend this week, tomorrow, uh, in honor of the 4th and all that it means? We're just doing a, a small get together with, with cl close family here at the house. We're, we're keeping it pretty quiet. But myself and my dog don't really care for fireworks, so we're going to keep it really quiet. But um, what I'm keeping in my mind and what I want everyone else to keep in their mind is I, I can't tell you the number of parallels and similarities that I see between us during our Revolutionary War and you right now. You know, we were a tiny little group of colonies that stood up to a world power that we felt was being a tyrant. And right now, that's what Ukraine is doing. Um, and it's not even their, their choice. They're, they're doing it because they have to. But they, they really do believe in freedom and democracy. And, and they just they want the Russians out of their country. You know, it's, there are so many similarities. So while you're appreciating the independence and the freedom that we have, please think about Ukraine and, and hope and wish and do everything you can so they can have the same. 
And Bunny, there are several Americans being held by Russians right now. A journalist, also uh, Paul Whelan, who has been held since 2018. What advice do you have for those families, those parents, those siblings who are um, relentless in their efforts to try to bring their loved ones home? Just hang in there. Just hang in there and know that you're being supported by so many people around the world and that um, we just have to trust it's all going to work out. I, I know their situations are different than what Alex and Andy were because they were POWs from the war, but it, it still is. I have learned throughout all of this that Russia is cruel and it's a big bully and they really, really need to, um, they need to be stopped. Yeah, don't lose hope. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.